Hello, everyone. Welcome to Movie Night with Matt and Jimmy. Jimmy, introduce yourself. Hi, um, my name's Jimmy, and I'm a recovering alcoholic. Aww. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Alcoholics go to meetings. I'm just a drunk. But, hey. <laughs> and I'm Matt, and we're going to watch Flowers in the Attic. The recent Lifetime Emmy-nominated film. Oh, wait, it was Emmy-nominated? Uh, yeah, uh... Are you L lying? Louise Fletcher was nominated for uh, Best Supporting Actress in, like, a miniseries. So. I love Louise Ellen Burstyn Fletcher. <laughs> All right. Such a good actress. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Yes. All right, let me boot up this DVD. So, yeah, we've been doing these uh, movie hangouts every couple days, but this is the first time we're trying to broadcast them, so let's see how it goes. It's weird. Now we're talking to people who aren't even with us. <laughs> I do that anyway. Oh, yeah, of course. So, it's not too weird. Oh, God, we're actually we're on YouTube right now. Oh. Oh, God, I don't like... Oh, like... It, oh, it sees our faces, too? Yeah, it does. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Is that like the intro to the me? Oh, I was gonna say that's kind of upbeat and poppy for a movie uh, about. It's the Lifetime logo. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say of that magnitude. I don't want to watch previews for Lionsgate. Hey, Lionsgate, they have just made leaps and bounds over what they used to be. Oh, of course. They used to not do anything they're like, good. They're like the modern-day New Line Cinema. <laughs> Except they don't have Sarah Risher. Huh? Why am I watching a commercial for Mad Men from Lifetime? Apparently, Lifetime's making a biopic about Brittany Murphy. Oh, why? No. I know. I can only imagine how offensive and awful it's going to be. Oh, it's going to be wretched. Oh, like Liz and Dick. Did you see Liz and Dick? Oh, but I want to. I hear it's awful. It's so bad, Matthew. It's that My bad. favorite part is when Lindsay Lohan just straight up rolls her eyes in the back of her head and falls on the floor. <laughs> Mother, there's helicopters outside. What is going on? And then, you know, the mom being a serious, you know, professional actress, you know, just bawling her eyes out. Richard's dead, honey. And then Lindsay Lohan and her just, I, I don't know. She's she's a train wreck. A bobo. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. All right, hold on. Mine's going to have a screen that says, the following program contains some material that may not be appropriate for younger viewers. Parental discretion is advised. Okay. So we'll just sync up to the part where, okay, I'm on a view of the house right now. All right. Right now it says the following program contains some material. Oh. Tell me when you get to the house. Okay. Parental discretion is advised. Okay, we're at the house. Okay. All right. I just started playing. All right. Oh, you started? Yep. Oh, we're off to a roaring start because I'm not started. I thought we were going to do a countdown. Oh, God. Do you want to just go back to the very beginning? No. With parental discretion advised? Sure. All right. Hold on. Tell me where, tell me where you're at <laughs> the back screen. I'm okay. I'm at the house. Pause it. Pause it when you get to the okay. house. Okay. Hold no. on. Okay. I'm at the house. Three. All right. Two. One. Go. All right. There we go. What a nice house. Did you, 
I know, right? Look at all them vines and statues of gargles. <laughs> this is a delight. I can already tell it's going to be good, even though I've already, like, I've already kind of seen it, and by that, I mean, I just skimmed through it. Oh. Yellow. Like the sun we rarely saw. When I was very young, I thought life would be like one long and perfect summer day. After all, it started out. I'm gonna go pee and eat some of a veggie tray. I will be back in like a minute. <laughs> okay. People say we look like those fancy dreams that and dolls that show straight out of the book so far. We were really loved. Life is full of surprises, my mother used to say. Angry and fear and shame, as I see more. And hopelessness. Well, now I'm here by myself, talking to myself. Do what you gotta do, right? We never colored even one of our paper flowers yet. Alright, so they've been in that over there for a while. Alright, readjusting the camera in a minute while I eat my this uh, show is brought to you by Burger King Chicken Fries. Because chicken fries. A gram. I wish I could buy Heather Graham nice jewelry. <laughs> Who doesn't? Come on now. She's a peach. She looks so good for 43 or 44. Oh, I know. She's somebody that's really taking care of herself. Ew, there's celery in here. Ew. Well, no, wait. Celery's good for you. <sighs> that's it. That's all I can say about that, Matt. Yeah, I know. Why you gotta disappoint me? That keep you going, Junior? What? Like Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> For some reason, I thought you said like in the third grade. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian's here. But he is not going to be talking because he doesn't have a mic. Hello. Good morning. Yes, I said that's being practiced, yeah? <laughs> I don't even know German. <laughs> what did you say? I don't even know. I heard it on The Simpsons once. Um, <laughs> the closest thing I know to German is the song 99 Luft Balloons. Ah. I got really hammered and sang that at karaoke night one time. In, in the original German? Yeah. Oh my god, you're my hero. No, 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 it's just Luft Balloons. Even Victor Fodenzantig, Monster U, first asked him out. Yeah, totally. I was like, screaming it with like a PBR in my hand. Was classy. <laughs> you're my fucking hero. I know. <laughs> At least you're modest. <laughs> this girl looks like Emma Watson. 
it's more money than I can spend. But, but prettier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this girl? Yeah. I feel like it's weird to call her pretty, though, because she's like 11 or something. I think Emma Watson's pretty. In like a way that, like a British way, yeah. I was going to say, like a British one. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to get situated here. I really like British people because they're not like... You know how Americans are obsessed with like the perfect image and the perfect beauty and all their perfect teeth? Mm -hmm. The British people just don't care. The same, not in the least. The neighbors no, they're great. We are perfect. Oh, such a perfect family. About to be destroyed. <laughs> With hatred and fake Louise Fletcher. <laughs> I fake Louise Fletcher is a robot that has been sent from 2087. <laughs> I love it. To kill Sarah Connor. I hear someone in the Oh god, this part is so sad, I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh wow, Heather Graham's got the crazy eye already. <laughs> Hi, what a way to ruin a fucking birthday party. <laughs> oh hey kids, your daddy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. And we have no money. <laughs> God. Emma Watson Jr. should have just jumped out the window right there. <laughs> Emma Watson Jr. <laughs> That's what we'll call her from now on. All I know is that she's in the show uh, Mad Men, I think. I think her last name is Shipka, kind of like an Akita, like a dog. Huh. I'm and you know Heather, Br and Heather Graham just binged and purged that whole birthday cake. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't she? Five more minutes of playtime, and that's no, it. no, little sister. We're gonna have to sell your advocates to pay the electric bill. <laughs> and I get to keep my football. Because I'm a man. Math is for pussies. Give me your advocates. It's Kieran Kieran Shipka. <laughs> oh, Heather Graham's looking ratchet. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Just look at her. She looks like death warmed over. I mean, I know her husband just died, but when my dad died, my mom managed to keep some makeup on her face. <laughs> Is that the man? You know, every once in a while. <laughs> when she wasn't wearing wings. Yeah, well, except, you know, she was kind of like, I got a $100,000 life insurance policy. Let's go get some sushi, you know. Let's go buy go some her. <laughs> now you're horrible at it. At least she did put on some purple lipstick, right? I think those are just her lips. <laughs> God. But you're more aggressive and determined. You're just like his mother. He loved his mother. Doesn't everyone love their mother? Some mothers are impossible to love. They don't act like mothers at all. Foreshadowing. I have Christopher Lee to tell you this story, and this is the mailbox for the one. Another one? You already sent? It's that you should finish your home. You already sent like 5,000 of them, Mom. <laughs> I know. I feel like she should just be like, you know what, Mom? You're going to have to do a strip tease. It's going to have to be like Gypsy. And then, the, and then that's when fake Louise Fletcher comes in. You gotta have a gimmick, you know. Christopher. That'd be great. Yeah. You know all those letters I sent? Kids, get the fuck off the box. Just leave them in the road. Yes. We can buy them wherever we're going. Come in right now. With your Mom, you have makeup on today. What, what's going on? Do we have a new daddy? 
but with your father gone, this is the best hope for now. What about school and all of our friends? There will be no more school. You two are old enough to understand. To help your mother out of a desperate situation. It's up to the three of us to repopulate the human race. <laughs> no. Wait. What'd you say, Mom? <laughs> I feel like she's about to pull like a Sharon uh, Stone. <laughs> in Catwoman? No, in like Fatal Instinct. And just uh, start like. That was Sharon Stone, right? Yeah. Um, start like spreading her legs all over the. Oh no, that wasn't Sharon Stone. Basically. Was that Sharon Stone? Oh, I've yeah. been drinking. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she's just gonna start spreading her legs all over the place in front of the kid. My family is rich, not middle class rich, but I'm going to be wealthy, and they have one of the finest homes in all of Virginia, with stillions and acres of land, and a very own lake. <laughs> she reminds me of a succubus. <laughs> right? <laughs> we need to leave now, though. Wait, why? The bank's coming from the house. <laughs> we have to be out here by 11.59 on Tuesday. Hey. Mom, today's Tuesday. Oh, shit. We're going tonight then. Hey. We we're selling all of our stuff. We need money from Mama. We're moving to Mama's house. And one more thing. Our name is a really darling Oh, one more thing. All right, thanks for the explanation. What? But the house is huge. I love that guy. The ticket taker. I've seen him in like a million movies. Oh, thank you. We have someone meeting us. Fake John Goodman. Okay. Yeah, he's like a low rent John Goodman, except. Well, yeah, exactly that. He's just not as good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Mrs. Patterson. <laughs> Alright, so their name is Dolan Ganger. Now their the name is Foxworth. Now it's Patterson. Make up your mind. <laughs> Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah. Born and raised. Wow. I thought you said there was someone meeting. All day, or day. It should be a quick sunbreak. It's a long walk. How long? I can't carry the twins. Well, let them walk. The country air will do them good. Wow, she's got the crazy eye all over the place. I know. I love Heather Graham. She is crazy eyes. Her best crazy eye was in uh, Boogie Nights when she uh, stomped that guy out with her roller roller skates. Oh my God! Yeah, I'm pretty. Was he dead at the end of that? Uh, I don't know. He was really hurt, though. I would like to think he died of internal injuries. Uh, I just ate a carrot, and it tasted vaguely like salmon, and I'm kind of concerned. I'd be afraid. Why are you doing that? Eating carrots. I have a tray of crudite, okay? Crudite? Mm-hmm. Out of fancy? You fancy? Every day. Cool. All day, every day. Oh, here comes fake Louise Fletcher. Bah! Hello, mother. You know who would have been a, who would have done a better job than fake Louise Fletcher? Uh, Hyper Lori. Oh God, yeah. And the Raven was called Sin, and Eve was weak. Say it. <laughs> Mother, no. So Mama, it's not a sin. I swear. Oh, this is getting creepy. You're right, though, about this kid's hair. It's perfect. I know, right? Shh. My hair never looks that good. 
once a year it looks that good for me. And for like 10 minutes. Right, and then I get in the car and it just gets all wind blown. Yep. Yeah, just leave the lights on, Louise Fletcher. Yeah, you don't pay the bill. It's all bursting. It's the same thing. <laughs> the same thing. I think you can take me to the same matter. I don't know what we I'm not your father, Clint. You're groveling. I'm so in I see your children inherit your good looks. I just hope there's no hidden defect or affliction. I didn't agree to run a circus here. My children are perfect, physically and mentally. They can eat the rest. Except those twins are kind of fucking creepily. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure. Most twins are. One of them's a go one of them's a gremlin. Yeah. How do you for children? They're innocent. Yes, that's what I was thinking about you. Well, if you're so worried, why don't you put them in a separate room? Heaven knows there's enough here. No, this is the only safe room where your father can't hear them. Put the two girls in one bed and the two boys in the other one. Oh, she's going cray cray. When your mother and I leave here, I will lock this room from outside, and you will keep the drapes closed. You remember, God sees everything. Oh. God sees what either you do behind my back. I didn't know she was playing Shirley Phelps in this movie. Shirley Phelps? Yeah, Westboro, uh, Shirley oh, Phelps. Her. Yeah, she's a delight. Father doesn't know we're here. I'm sorry I should have told you the truth, but I didn't want you to be frightened. When I was 18, I did something my parents did. So my father wrote me out of his will. What if she hates us? She doesn't hate you. She's jealous of how much I love you guys and your dad. She doesn't hate you, she just can't stand my life and ever, anything I've ever done. Hey, it looks like we have one viewer on the YouTubes, so welcome, y'all. How much time? I don't know exactly, maybe a few weeks or a week. I'm going to bring my father over. I'm going to take you all down to meet him. And I know he'll love each and every So for those who just joined us, we're watching Flowers in the Attic, starring Heather Graham and fake Louise Fletcher. A.K.A. Ellen Burstyn. Yes. And she's a peach. And also uh, Emma Watson, Jr., Thank you, Grandma. And that boy with really nice hair. Yeah. I think he's on Teen Wolf now. Yes. The nice it's hair boy. It's my father. Give it to me. Oh, she can't. We've got to melt it down for the war effort. Or must I speak more? <laughs> <laughs> All they gotta do is push her down and break her hip. I know. They didn't have Boniva back then. Her bones are brittle. This house again. Come on, come on. That's enough. I'm sorry. All our dreams are I'm really finding it hard to believe that our dreams are gonna come true, Mom. I've seen the trailers for this movie. Cut to commercial break, and we're back. I came in with the force and reckoning of a wrecking ball to this house. Were you quoting Miley Cyrus? I was. Okay. Yeah, I finally heard her uh, Bangers album, and it's uh, delightful. Oh, she's got a picnic basket of doom. God, she's like a scary yogi bear. Your food. What? Don't you fucking touch me. I can't be running up and down the stairs. The servants might get suspicious. They'll be angry for breakfast. 
sandwiches for lunch and chicken for dinner. And I want you to eat all of it. Don't waste one bite of it. Do you understand? Even eat the bones. <laughs> I may bring you some fruit. Thank you. Maybe. I've written out a list of other rules. First of all, you'll keep this room neat and tidy as nobody lived here. Keep your hair brushed neat and your bodies clean and fully clothed. And be modest when you go to the bathroom. Girls and boys are never to use the bathroom at the same time. The older children will keep the younger ones quiet. No running around or yelling or crying. They're good kids, but they need somewhere to play and make noise. Over here, there's a stairway. It's up to the attic. You want us to play in the attic? Up there, there will be ample room. And the last Friday of every month, you're to clean up all of your things and hide up there while the maids are cleaning this room. No one must ever see or hear you. Is she wearing age makeup? She's like 80-something. Yeah, but like it's weird. Like Her wrinkles just start halfway up her forehead. I mean... I mean, I know it's a TV movie. They don't have big budgets. It might just be really bad lighting, because I know, like, Linda Gray on Dallas. Yeah. She's 73, and I think, like, in real life, and if you see her in pictures, mm -hmm. she looks fantastic. But And, I mean, that could be the work of Photoshop, but, you know, you see her on the show, and she just looks terrible half the time. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a matter of all these newbies don't know how to light a lady, you know? Like Sybil Shepherd in Moonlighting. Ah, I love that show. That Vaseline filter every time she comes on the screen. <laughs> it's freaking delightful. Nice attic. Are there flowers in it? Because if there's no flowers in it, I'm going to be very disappointed. And then I better I mean, not wait that up before. We used to have raccoons in our attic. Oh, I'm jealous. One fell through the ceiling once. Oh my god, I'm even more jealous. Are you serious? It was scary. <laughs> I love raccoons. They're adorable. I tried to catch one outside of a Taco Bell once. Oh my god. I would have brought it home. It did not go well. It ran into a culvert. Our entire family. Yeah, it's like a grandma. <laughs> Guys. You gotta come check this out. It's a Ouija board. <laughs> no, I wish. Oh, awesome. that would made of the movie so much more. More. Uh, so this whole family used to just keep people up in the attic. This is a bad place. I Okay. It's like, all right, shut up, kids. You're creepy okay, as hell. Um, Sister and I are going to go in this other room. If you hear screaming or banging, we'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> We're not hurting each other. It's okay. What do you think she meant? Look at all this rope lying around. I'm sure she didn't want us to hang ourselves with it. Let's make a swing. All right. I'm just going to take care of us. Well, this kid has all the faith in the world in Heather Graham. I would not. I mean... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. I think I would if it were Heather Graham. And she was like, hey, get in this attic. I'd be like, you know what, Heather Graham? If you're going to talk to me of all people, I'll get in that <laughs> attic for you. I might as well, right? I love you, Heather Graham. <laughs> I'm telling you, this week's going to It's a ghetto-ass swing. I'm under the impression... <laughs> uh, that's like some shit you'd see on Pinterest. Like DIY craft swing set yeah. out of an old bench. I like it. Pretty scary. This is all we have. No, I don't like this either. Children, enough. Oh. I'm just doing food. <laughs> the devil's work. <laughs> so much as one bite. Yeah, eat it all, kid. You're gonna be stuck in this room for like decades. <laughs> I'm waiting for fake Louise Fletcher to run in and just start That's screaming, Google gobble, Google gobble, one of us, one right of us. Oh, oh, no, it's Heather Graham. 
keeping around. He was just trying to get the twins to eat. Oh, kids, what did I tell you? I just... Um... Oh, Mother, um... Don't be mad. It's not their fault. They didn't properly understand. They will. In time. There, you had your 30 seconds of children time. Now get the fuck out. My problem with, I think, the casting here is that Heather Graham and Louise Fletcher look nothing alike. Yeah. I'm always fine with that, though, because maybe she got her father's looks. It wasn't so bad, was it? Mommy, you don't need to care. You're fine. Sure. Stop. No. Captain Christopher on me. I want to go home. With you, Mommy. You don't have a home. It's sold. It's gone. The Repo Man took it. Emilio Estevez it stopped down. the house. No. Take us out of here. Fuck you, Mom. Oh, that is a terrible child actress. <laughs> You're really gonna bite her? She's dealt with a possessed child before. You can do whatever you want to me. You can't be cruel to my children or we'll leave tonight. And you'll never see them or me ever again. Go. Yeah, because she can give a fuck. <laughs> Take off your oh, she's devilish. Take off that dress, and we'll burn it together and pray for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Good long look, children. But what happens when you disobey me? Eighteen lashes for every year she used her wicked charms on my husband. And twenty more for every year she lived in the sin with your father. That was an abomination. Oh. Heather Graham, 38, in this movie. Yeah. Spawned by the devil. Evil. In the moment you were conceived. Evil. I make the rules in this house. Nice. I do rules. Oh. Was that you or the movie, Matt? Both. Okay. I thought... I just wasn't sure if it just got really just demonic. <laughs> I make the rules of this house. <laughs> wow, what an awkward commercial break. Who the heck is Mike Phelps? That would actually be me. I'm Mike Phelps. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, how are you doing today, Matt? Great. She's claustrophobic. How are you? Pretty good. It's good to see that you're a fan of Spielberg, and I've got to say, I love the Watchmen poster. Super 8 was a pretty good movie. Not as good as Watchmen, though Watchmen was kind of, it was a movie before its time. I think that if it was actually took him with the right audience, and if it actually was, let's say that it actually went to the silver screen in this age of superhero movies, it would have actually been... Taken with a better resolve by fans. More jealous. Quick question. How did you find us tonight? Through one of the links? Yes, one of the links. Alright, cool. Twitter is an amazing beast. If you're going to put it on Twitter, crazy people come in. And there is no one crazier than Pundit Supreme. <laughs> what, is talk, what is Talk Nerdy to Me? Is that your show? Uh, yes, that's my show. Let me give you a link, um, and if you subscribe, if you don't subscribe, well, it said that if you subscribe, every time you subscribe to my channel, an angel gets its wings. I knew this. But yes, let me put that link right here, and then turn my back while Jimmy and Matt go do something that will make me happy. Oh no. Is that the hero is that a hero sticker in the background too? My children would be warm. Yeah. Heroes? 
wrong. No? God didn't punish me, not with you. You are... Looks like the blonde from Heroes. No matter what anyone says. I hope you can... Oh, oh Hayden. Love to <gasps> Hayden Panettiere. How dare she? I love her. She's, she's awesome. She's in that new horror video game. All I gotta about. say, save the cheerleader, save the world. Yeah, but I don't see a hero's uh, sticker anywhere. No, the one, the other side of your head, not not super right. Go back on the side that Watchmen's on, the one that's blonde in the corner. Oh no, that's Indiana Jones. Oh, that's Indiana Jones. <laughs> never, mind. never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That's the Nazi girl that both Jones Jr. and Sr. slept with. I was going to say, Harrison Ford, Hayden Panettiere, they're kind of the same thing. Yeah, why not? I'm sorry, but Harrison Ford will always be Blade Runner to me. You made the right choice. Oh, they're marking off the wall, so they've been there a week and a half. Be prepared for a couple more decades, folks. You're going to help out. We need water. Here's this urn with chopsticks in it. You know what I hate? When people put, like, on their Instagram, they put follower of Christ. I've literally seen you passed out in your own vomit at the bar. <laughs> to be fair, though, it's even worse when you have over 2,000 followers. Mother's idea? Hope you inherit her artistic yeah. Is she going to punch Emma Watson Jr.? God, I hope she does. I hope she just fucking stabs her right in the uterus. I'm a dancer, <laughs> actually. Ballet. And Christopher's a really good You want to get pregnant by your brother, you little whore, and then just stabs her with, like, a machete. Just something cute, you know? Your gloves, not. You little girls. Turn out the truth. I want to know what kind of wickedness you're up to. Nothing. Why are you doing Because you keep accusing us of doing all these bad things, and I don't even know what you're talking about. Lady, I've been here three days. You've already beat my mother. You've <laughs> locked us in an attic. I don't know. You feed us old chicken. Why shouldn't I be afraid? My dad's dead. Uh, <laughs> our house is gone. <laughs> really, the rest of us took it. Yeah, fucking Charlie Sheen's brother. So it's always fun when we get random visitors, huh? Oh, is he gone now? Oh, uh, he left. Any trace of you? Good. I'm gonna unsubscribe as soon as this thing is over. Oh yeah, me too. I left off her fingerprints. You can't look like it's just been dusted. That means you're going to be here in less than an hour. All right, I'll take care of you. You inbred are always so stupid. Here's some real flowers for your fake garden. Yes! Flowers in the attic! There's actual flowers in the attic. Just go. Get the fuck out of here, you bitch! Take the flowers and go. Dusting this bedroom, making it look like people live here. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Overlook Hotel, yeah. right? Yeah. Then it cuts to a shot of Shelley Duvall, KDK one to KDK twelve. Over. <laughs> oh, here comes Crazy Heather Grant. Oh my God, she always has the guys. She got a headband. I love it. Look at those booty shorts. Damn girl, legs for days. I find it disturbing that she calls them darlings. I mean, it's either darlings or abortions. So I mean. No idea how hard it's been on me. Today I finally just had a chance to go sailing the lake. You went sailing? Well, we're locked in a fucking attic. Can you stay for the twins' bedtime? I have a movie date with an old friend. She keeps asking me out, and I can't. Oh, now you're going to the theater? Where's telling your father about us? Well, Kathy, I have to tell it very carefully. I only just got back. It's been a month. Yeah, what the fuck? And I'm sick of being in here. The twins need fresh air and sunshine. I want to go sailing. Stop picking a mom, Kathy. I just want to know when. When are you going to tell your father about us? When do we get to leave? 
Like I said, my father has just finally accepted me back. Then why can't he accept us? Are we so terrible or stupid or ugly that he wouldn't want to meet his own grandchildren? Yes. I can't. I'm not dealing with your shit right now. I can't you tell what? Y'all don't get food today. Walter gave me a one condition. But I didn't have any children with your father. Done. You know what? Done. I'll cancel my movie date and I'll stay here with you and the twins. It's okay, Mom. You go. Don't worry about it. You've disappointed us enough. Yeah. Our day has been terrible enough. Ah, oh, the mother's really persistent, just like, okay, she said no, I'll leave. Okay, bye. You could go with me, Dana. That's how heart disease works. Blood clot could break free and find it. Right, I'll be right back. Your heart. Snuff them out like a candle. Are you going to pause it? Uh, no. I'll be stuck up here forever. No. Uh, but yeah, entertain our viewers and such. I'll be back. <laughs> I don't know how to entertain them. I, mean, I don't know. She's, she's always in the Things and such. She has to fit in. I'll be right back. Where is it? I thought you guys were playing hide and seek. He worked. I clung, clung, he wouldn't come out. Corey! Where are you? Oh god, what's going on? Is the kid dead? Christopher, over here. Oh my god, he locked himself in a fucking trunk. <laughs> This is why I believe we need to remove the safety labels on everything, because then the problem people will just kind of wipe themselves themselves out. And this scene didn't make any sense because they're acting like the attic was a thousand, or sorry, like it was freezing. But she's in there warming them up, or. I don't even know. This whole movie doesn't make sense. It was just hastily and shittily run together. And I just think Heather Graham needed a paycheck at this point. And I mean, how does one go from doing, you know, Austin Powers I love you to so this? It's a real mother. I mean, bless her heart. She's just fucking Heather Graham. Ooh, what's that? I want somebody to feed me. Oh shit, I do like him. Do I follow that guy too? I do. Does he follow me? Probably fucking not. Little bitch ass. Now it's obviously winter in the attic, and I know probably none of y'all are even going to watch this movie. You're just probably listening to this shit for the weird-ass banter that happens. But um, they're in an attic, fake Emma Watson and uh, Book of Mormon Boy. Um, and it's snowing. I think they're about to have sex at this point. I don't really know. To be completely honest... I just stay here with my beer and my straw, because I'm like Patsy Klein. She got us that plant. She not even let us out. Hurry, Kathy. She's going to be here. Careful, I don't want it to rip. Christopher, can I have the card? Yeah. It has to be good. God, I love this part where they're like, Grandma, we made you a nice gift, and she's just like, Fuck you. Grandmother? <laughs> yes. 
cry baby Emma Watson cry tears This gift is not from Santa. It's for Corey and Carrie to play pretend house, just like I did. And all the doors and windows really work in the locks. I knew that could be perfect on you. Yeah, but why are you barking? Like your father when I first met him. You think so? <gasps> you want a milk bone? You want a milk bone? Come here, you fat bitch. I'll feed you. In Paris, it's you want a milk bone? Do <gasps> you like it? Her. Yes. Yeah, I know you want one too. Y'all are some fat dogs. Oh, come here. I'll what? give y'all milk bones. <gasps> milk bones every day. Oh. 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 He's my father's attorney. He says it's only a matter of drawing up the paperwork. What? I'm going to inherit everything. <laughs> He's throwing me a party tonight with champagne and a live orchestra and anyone who's anyone in Virginia. Can we come? Please? We'll hide somewhere and we'll be quiet and no one will hear us or see us. I swear. Too risky. I mean, after putting all this time. I haven't seen other people in so long. It's the only thing I really want. Don't you care if I'm happy? Kathy, quit it. You think she's happy knowing your kids are locked up in an attic? It's okay, Christopher. You can come. You can both come. <laughs> Not the twins are asleep. I feel like for the first time since your father died, things are finally looking up for us. <laughs> This is how I used to hide and watch my parents' party. Just remember your promise, okay? Be quiet as much. After dinner, I go straight back to our rooms. <laughs> and I'm back. I don't know where Jimmy went. But they're sneaking in and they're hiding in a liquor cabinet during a party with a lot of booths, which is not a smart idea. The house hasn't been so alive in years. And all of this because of you. That's what worries me. I hope I don't know, Miss Watchman. You are as lovely as ever. Thank you, sir. Come on, now. I got some milk bones. I need a beer. Dress. Most women would be too modest to wear. I need a recruitment, Hardy, but you're not fun for father's sake. Father's well-being is my only concern. The money paying my share. This is all too gorgeous. I wanted something simpler, but my father insisted. <laughs> well, I always told him spare the rod and spoil the child. Mother, please. Oh, oh, no. What dog is? No guess. God, I can't even imagine being in a party like this. You won't have to. Someday it's going to be your party. It'll never be your party. Why are you hiding in a liquor store? Yeah, Lur. Oh, God. Here, girl. I want a hug. You're no fucking fun, you fat dog. Go away. Sir. And John. Get rid of Sarah. Tonight. Ma'am, it's dead cold out here, and there are no more trains. Well, then that will show the servants what happens when they don't do as I say. Well. What a bitch. No, Cooper. There are no more milk bones. Go lay down. Uh -huh. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go, 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 my face. No, I'm not going to scratch your butt. Go away. Merry Christmas. Uh-oh, who plays the dad? Some geriatric old man. Could have gotten someone cool like Barry Bostwick. Ooh, or Bob Gunton. I don't deserve that. Well, to my mother, 
passed down from her own mother. And this is just the beginning. It's Oh, Dad, it's so beautiful. It's so ugly. Maybe someday you'll have a daughter of your own that you can pass it on to. What a dick. Oh, wow. Helen Burstyn. You got some Ellen. problems. Ellen. I said that. Yeah, I thought you said Helen. No, I said Ellen Burstyn. The first time I've got her name right all night. Louise Fletcher. <laughs> Be proud of me. Just five minutes ago. Why can't you just love me? We're going to have sex in front of your children. You must have a secret. You're beautiful. Smart. Pretty soon you'll be one of the richest women in the world. That's the least of your charm. How are you so Beautiful, smart. This is like 1958. She's 38. That means she's got one foot in the grave. I know. And everybody's acting like she's just the biggest cat to meow. Yeah, she's over the hill at this point. I can't wait to start. Her. At least back in the 50s. Right. Nowadays, she's just getting started. Did you hear that? He said just the two of us. She's about to inherit Cooper, make yourself useful and bring me some pie. No. He's a dog. Are you trying to get your dog to bring you pie? It's not my dog, it's my roommate's dog, but yes. Cooper, I will pet you, you bring me pie. <laughs> I'll pet you for pie. Go, How about go these kids pie? go back into the fucking attic so they don't get anyone else in trouble? God, he's so... What's with the weird skull on the on the desk? He's got like a, an ape skull. He's like a robot. <laughs> You're drinking beer with a straw. Yeah, I'm like Patsy Cline. You are so so classy. Don't you judge me, Matt. You wish you were me. No, you don't. I'm way too fat for that shit. God, my, my roommate earlier, she's like, everybody sent, like, a nude picture before, and I'm like, I have not. And she's like, really? And I'm like, I'm like I look like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I'm not sending any nudes anytime soon. Where's Christopher? Where oh, is shit. Christopher? I don't know. You want to look around? Do you know what if anyone found out about you, Went to look around. coming together for me. No one hurt us, I swear. Yes, we won't. We will never come out of this room. Not for any reason! Can you say that? You can't keep here forever. Slap him. Slap him, Heather Graham. Slap him with that gloved hand. That didn't even hurt that bad. I will you and catch you. Wow, I guess her mother's really rubbing off on her, huh? Not the only person who's rubbing off in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kenny. Oh, Ellen Burstyn. Oh, what? Good morning. I don't remember doing any of that last night. The I was. Kids look more hungover than Heather Graham probably is. Better. <laughs> Should tell Santa to take back all your presents. Okay. What the fuck do you want, mom? Ashley Katz Dorian. You gonna, are you gonna go hang out with Ashley Katz Dorian again? <laughs> I don't know about the other things, any of it. I just, I was scared that you would get caught and we would lose everything. I would never do anything to hurt you. You have to believe me. Oh. What about Barbara? Oh, that was creepy. That was seductive. Are you wishing? I'm gonna make out with well, my I told son. You this you should be glad that we become so close. I feel like Heather Graham's the kind of lady should fucking get in her El Camino, light a Marlboro Red, put on a trucker hat, some big glasses, and play Freebird while drinking a Miller Lite. 
Speaking of Freebird. Let's see right now. Oh God. <laughs> I was I was thinking the other day. Yeah. The, the difference between all right, you hear the word the, the word redneck. What do you think? You think mean and abrasive and wants to punch me in the face, right? I I don't know. I just think classless kind of country bumpkiny people who really enjoy mudding, four by four trucks, uh, country music, guns, America. I yeah. mean, somewhat small minded, but they're the kind of people. If you really needed help, they'd give you the shirt off your back. But but you know, what those do you simple think? Folk. But, yeah, like, but when I this guy's probably mean, and you're not a big fan of me. When I hear Hillbilly, I think this is a nice person who just wants to write me songs on their banjo and be like, hey, let's hang out, drink some moonshine See, out of the back of the truck. You live in New Jersey, and this I live in true. southern Illinois. All we have is rednecks down here. No Hillbillies? That's no Hill people? Not really any hill. I mean, my cousin Avery makes moonshine in a bathtub, oh, and he was awesome. so, he was selling it at my grandpa's funeral. Oh wow, they, they, that's a lot of X's on the wall. They've been there a while, and they haven't, you know, done it yet. That's weird. Sorry, I just, I just can't you knock? God, he's wearing a wife beater. What is that? It's nothing. He kind of looks like the stalker I have at work. Have I sent you a picture of my work stalker? Just drop it. Just drop it. I'm trying to jerk off. Leave me alone. I'm trying not to be evil. I feel like they're still like so naive. They refer to it as their PP. Yes. As well as their bodies. See, at your age, it's natural that your body would start changing. I don't want my body to change. No, no choice. Yeah, well, it's too bad. It's called puberty, puberty, and it's going to happen to you. You don't want to be a child your whole life, do you? <clears throat> what about Christopher? Well, he'll have to start shaving, and those are the things that he'll have to learn. Like what? Kissing? Not to <laughs> take it in you every time you turn no, around. You. <laughs> in the meantime, I brought you all some new clothes, <laughs> and I brought this especially for you. You know, you're lucky at your age I have no one to come to with these questions. Mom, you're not even here for me. I'm yeah, better off talking is... to fucking God than you. <laughs> Are you there, God? It's me, incest baby. I don't like the scene because this actress is like 14 years old. Yes. And I don't think they should, they should have 14-year-old kids be parading around. So in 50s bras. Brazzers. That's Brazzers. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I knew I'd catch you sooner or later. We weren't doing anything. You think you look so pretty in your new young curves and your Hit her, Louise. golden hair. Hit her. Hands have you allowed your brother to use you? Use? What do you mean? I, I walked in on Kathy by accident. We haven't done anything wrong. Your sister is almost naked. And she allowed you to look upon her body. Sit down, girl. What are you doing? I am going to cut all your precious hair down to the scalp. Maybe then you won't feel so much pride when you look in the mirror. You're not going to cut one strand of Kathy's hair. All right, then, have it your way. Her hair, or the four of you, don't eat for a week. But the twins, they didn't do anything. Her hair, or your, your ball. You yeah. As far as it's concerned, my last name is Butafuco. <laughs> <laughs> or a bop it, I mean, whatever. I remember her. Lorena, she was such a nice girl. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm still hungry. Yeah, well, how about you... We just need to ration what we have. You just need to cut your hair off so you people can eat. It's called, you know, making sacrifices for the better, the bigger good. 
Go bald, Emma Watson Jr. Hey, I stole booze. I'm not sure if that's milk in that bottle or semen. I'm almost convinced there's a horse to this house. <laughs> they had this thing, and it was a shot of like apple, fla green apple flavored horse semen uh, in this bar in New Zealand. Ew. Yeah. Semen clusters what? everywhere. That was the review for this movie. So yeah. I think it's on the box That'd art. Have you made your choice? I'd laugh if that picnic basket was just filled with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why aren't you bald yet? <laughs> Ew! She put Ew. tar in my hair! Now you have to cut it off. <laughs> it's not coming out. No, because that's why you have to cut your hair off, lady. I mean, if they had some Dawn dish soap, I'm sure it would help. He's lusting. He's creepy. You know you want him, Matt. You know you want his Mormony looks. He does have weird Mormony looks. Doesn't he? He's like the blonde haired, blue eyed voice of God. <laughs> he has retweeted me before. His name's Mason. Really? Yeah, I follow him on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I know. Well, most. One, he just randomly like liked one of my things one day. And then I was like, oh, I'll follow him. I'll be nice. Whatever, you know. A, you know, whatever. And so, like, yeah, he's favorited several things that I've tweeted. And I'm like, oh, damn. You're like, oh, you. You've got nice, you've got good values and nice hair. So. I think I'm pretty. I think you're beautiful, sister. God, they're like yeah. fucking, the, um. I'm pretty. From Rocky Horror, uh. Uh, God, I'm drunk. I can't think. Um, Rick Ross and Janet? the Jinta. Oh, okay. Come here, wonderful sister. I think he gets off on cutting her hair. Oh, totally. He's just like, Ugh. Oh, wow, she's got a little uh, mid-80s uh, Debbie Harry haircut going. Ooh. Oh, her. I'm really dizzy. I'm getting on the floor now. I'm really <laughs> dizzy. Ballet? That's not what I meant when I said dance for me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. You gotta admit, it's a pretty the... shitty life these kids are living. I'm on the floor, okay. Yeah, well, maybe if they weren't whores in the eyes of God. You'll never be the black swan. I don't dance. Be the good girl you always have to be. So you don't feel. She's playing hard to get. Good for her. Let me just put it in you. What? Oh, that was creepy. I feel like he's the kind of guy that would, like, he would figure out that she had a vagina and be scared because he'd never seen one before. He'd probably just run out the window. Isn't that what you did when you found out about vaginas? Mm -hmm. They're never going to grow. I'm not in this attic. Kathy. They're not flowers. She's talking about her breath. <gasps> we can make it if okay. we run. <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't these kids just like run away yet? Did you even wish me a happy birthday on Facebook? No, I wished you a happy birthday through, like, you know, Facebook message and text and stuff. 
Oh, don't give me that look. <laughs> That's just my face. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's like scaling the wall like Batman. And then you got her, who's like a fucking baby deer, just learning how to walk. She's like, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, I hope the Louise Fletcher don't see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it turned into a sequel to Lake Placid, I get it. <laughs> I was thinking dirty dancing, like he's just gonna hold her above okay. his head. I hope so. Do these, do these kids not know how to like not make noise? And that owe it all to you. I've never seen dirty dancing. Neither have I. Oh, okay. Why didn't you tell us we should go? I just know the song. Sure. Nah, Jennifer Grey. Nah. Oh, come on. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I feel. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to trust her. I do, but... I hate her. Bad. 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 Yeller, what the fuck are you doing? There's a dog on this couch. Do you see oh, nice. it? Nice. There's it's a dog like on the couch. Do you see? Hey, it's a deer. It's like a golden deer, retriever or something. Deer. Oh, you're trying to go to sleep. I see you. Oh fuck! There is a deer. Ew. We're gonna eat it. <laughs> This little girl's an awful actress. I hope she dies. Nikki. Like the worst actress. Be gentle. Don't she reminds me of Heather O'Rourke. Who's the who? Wait. Oh, she looks pregnant. Please. I'm sorry it's gone so long, but I have wonderful news. God, who is she? Jackie Kennedy? Is she dead? <laughs> Kathy, don't be so morbid. She's actually. <laughs> <laughs> Is it grandfather? Is he dead? We've grown closer the past year. He, she's dressed like uh, whenever what? Tina Fey what? would dress as like a, months ago? a politician on before. Dirty Rock. Oh. Well, I, I think she's like, dressed like Jackie Kennedy. Kennedy. Like wait, she got married? married? She got married? You're wrong to go away. To stay away for so long. I, I don't care why. Try to be happy for me. I loved your father, but he's gone. Take your hand out of his hands, Heather. Someone to love me. When you're older, you'll understand. We are older, Mom. Look at us. I'm not a kid anymore. And Kathy, does she even look like a little girl? You're the love part. That's right. a really bad wig on Kathy, by the way. You said we would be up here for one night. Then a few days, a month. It's been more than two years, Mom! You think your presents are going to make up for what we've lost? What we're losing? <laughs> oh, Ooh. shit. You have no right to talk to me like that. You agreed to stay here until my father died. I said that I would take care of you, and I have. You have food. Then and I'm going to take out the motherfucker myself. You can't have pity for us. Think of the twins. Mom, I don't even know who you are anymore. I'm the mother. The only person who truly loves them. All along, I've only done the best I could. You haven't even told Bart about us, have you? Of course not. Are there you any Ikeas know. near Tom's River? Anything past you could have, Kathy. Who? You. Are there any Ikeas near Tom's River? Uh, about an hour away. Oh. They have great horse meatballs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. You heard about that scandal where all their meatballs are actually, like, horse? Yeah. They're from your mother. As long as they tasted good. I wouldn't eat them if I were you. Not good for your health. Foreshadowing. Please, please tell me they're poison. Have you not read the book? I'm not done with it yet. They're not poison. 
Oh. I bet they have poops in them. Eat my shit. <laughs> like laxatives, I mean. Poops. I said, eat my shit. Just have you lost your mind? No, but you about to, because you just did. Why are we still here? Have you seen the help? It's not worth this. I'll be right back. I gotta pee. I broke the. I broke the. Uh, I broke oh no! The seal. You did, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. What choice do I have? Besides. Where the hell are we supposed to go from here? Well, it's the fifties. You could be runaways. Oh, Bambi got it. Step away from the window, boy. My name's not Boy. It's Christopher. What did you say? Said my name is Christopher. It's not boy. Same as my father's. Oh, person's got the crazy eye. Take off your shirt, boy. I will whip your sister and both the twins if you don't take off your shirt. No! Kathy, go to the attic. Don't touch him! Go! <laughs> Take off your shirt. I, mean, I can see why she got nominated for an Emmy, but this movie is just too self-serious. They needed to camp this up a little. Oh, and there are actual flowers in the attic. That's always nice. Here, let me wipe this ketchup off. I'm so scared. I can't make you. Something happened to you. Don't worry, Kath. Right. Clearly, has, he has time to work out when he's in this attic. Right. What, what are you doing? Oh, you're weird. That's your sister. You don't kiss her like that. Ever. Nothing about that is okay. It is never okay. Commercial break. We have shared the forbidden love. What we did was wrong, but I liked it. What is the meaning of this? Nothing. Someone wants to do it. Not a god who's tempted. God never wants to do wrong. Never tempts anyone else to do so. He just admitted to being the devil's spawn. Do what? He admitted to being the devil's spawn. Satan! I, Cooper. May the Lord forgive you. What are you doing? The key to your salvation. I've got a dog with me, Cooper. Cooper. Adrian's brushing his teeth. Oh, that dog's cute. No. Cooper, they think you're cute. They're going to make a wooden key? That's never going to work. Are you just going to lay down here with me while I drink and watch a movie? This is the master key. Oh. I wanted a hug, bitch. I wish we could no, you can't have my beer. Go away. I need money. You got a problem. So when we escape, we can go wherever we want. We can steal. 
from the house. Grandmother catches us, she'll whip us. Is Adrian getting ready for school? She probably keeps track of every single penny. Oh, you gave the thumbs up, he totally is. Dad only said she was careless with money. Aw, puppy. What kind of dog? I have no clue. It's some kind of breed or something. I think it's part dingo. I'm not even sure. It looks part uh, pit bull. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. What? Oh, you want a booty scratch? Oh, I don't want you want. You look ridiculous. You're such a whore. Take this stuff off and start looking for cash. Good boy. Now go away. Can't take too much or she might notice. Kathy, what's the matter? Are you deaf? Uh oh. She found the ancient pornographies. Count my face, Cooper. That'll barely get us to the next county. We need a thousand. It's my beer straw. Weeks. You need to leave now? No. Not until we have enough to get away from here. Right. There's no battle off in there. It's Mickey. What is that on my face? God damn it, Adrian. I mean, these two, the, the older siblings, they're decent actors, but these two kids are just awful. What kids? The, the little twins. They're like just terrible actors. Mm. Like most children. I need to check outside. There's something happens to you. I have to make sure we can get out. Bad, Adrian. So what, her hair never grew back? Uh, she's got cancer. They don't tell you that. <laughs> Is that described in the sequel? Yes, Flowers in the Attic 2. It's actually called Petals on the Wind. It's called Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> oh, you have a peace sign now. <laughs> you do know that this man's just going to freak the fuck out. Adrian. Ich mag das nicht. Oh, they're putting up a, uh... Ich mag das nicht. An electric fence. I do not like this. In my oh, my God. oh, wow, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. That is an electric fence. That's crazy. I Did those things even exist in 1958? Oh, yeah, they had them around all the asylums. Yeah, the asylums? This is a fucking... A house. For rich people. In the middle... This is a house in the middle of nowhere. God, is that the Titanic? Real? No, it's not. It's like the Queen Mary, dude. Five, ten dollars. What's the difference? You must be alone at our own dinner party. It's not exactly a party. I want to sit across from you. I'm sorry. You know, I want to move out of here too as soon as possible. Take a trip. What a whore. Yeah, she is the worst. Beautiful young blonde girl. Talk to my room. Kiss me. I don't know. She reminded me of you when you were young. Wow, that must have been a dream. Why don't we go stay in a hotel? That way you don't have to see my mother's face in the morning. <laughs> Where's my beer straw? Here it is. How could you be so careless? I'm sorry. She was asleep. I was curious. He wasn't asleep, he saw you. Mom can't know we passed through a locked door. We don't have any money yet! You think you're the only one frustrated? Christopher, stop hurting me! I'll hurt you more. It's okay. 
I kind of want to watch the original. I hear it's more campy. You there, Jimmy? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> How are I, you? Good. Yeah, I hear the original's like super campy. Yeah, we'll have to watch it. Oh god, she's kissing her brother. No. And all the flowers in the attic wilted. We'll go to Florida. Sarasota. Where all the circus people Oh, they did it, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, and it felt good. We can pretend this never happened. Are you sure it never happened again? You could never pretend that it didn't happen. Y'all are related semen and you did it. Out of me, I'm pregnant. You're my brother. <laughs> I'm Janet. I won't leave you alone. I don't know if I can ever love anyone else. Why does it feel so good? <laughs> ah. Ooh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 78's on Netflix. I know, I own the Blu-ray, I just haven't watched it yet. I have the double DVD set from 2007. He needs to go to the hospital. Why are you standing there? Don't care what happens to him? Have you forgotten that you're his mother? You. Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like all the kids. <laughs> oh, stop her right back. <laughs> <laughs> I love this movie. God, it was so... It's so much better when I've been drinking. God, when it's sober, it's no fun. What is that? One damn penny, and I'll be glad. Girl, right, come on. That child should go to the hospital. So did you hear about all those nude pictures? Oh wow, even even grandma's born? like this kid needs to go to the hospital. Yeah, grandma knows what's up. Grandma protect you, girl. Grandma got your back, girl. Oh, Adrian's got a mic now. Hi, Adrian. Guten Tag. Are you fabulous, Adrian? Yes. <laughs> it says it all over your face. I took Corey to the hospital. Yeah. How is he? Guten Tag. Corey in the morning. You know German, right? Yes. Wait, what? I was I was friends with a German girl, but I don't know any German. So Heather Graham just let her son die. Yeah, fuck you, Heather Grant. DCFS would be all on your ass. Oh, there's no funeral either. Oh, we buried him. No one can know about you. I just burped and it smelled like peanut butter, but I haven't eaten peanut butter today. Oh, that's mysterious. I'm scared. Did you eat some of Louise Fletcher's fried chicken? It's it's definitely cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little girl cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, that little girl is giving me a headache. Oh, I know. God, just kill her off. Kill yeah, they killed the fucking little boy who never talked, but they don't kill the little girl who never shuts the hell up. Oh, I know. God, she's a. Duh. I can't away. say any racial slurs. Shit. They, they need to run away she now. We'll she's a line. fucking she cunt. <laughs> she's oh, seven. Ten minutes left. I know. <laughs> Go for the big finale. The big finale. <laughs> Grandpa's been dead for like a fucking year. What? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, he died in like 1956. It's like 1964. Why are you guys still even here? Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, we're gonna have sex where mom sleeps. That'll be good revenge. Ha 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 Oh, these are twist top. I've been She's opening them with the thingy. Bye, Adrian. Yeah, you fucking this. Swiss man. Man, boy, child, you're like 14. So we just walk right up the front door. We wait till dinner. And while the servants and family are in the kitchen are dining. So here you have a little fence, and you'll go to the shed so you can turn off the electricity. And we catch up by the lake and head to the depot for the evening train. And by the time grandmother comes in with her breakfast tomorrow, we'll be halfway to Florida. With our forty-five dollars. Yeah, why are they going to fucking Florida? I don't know. Let's go to the beach. No, bitch, you need some like help. You're having sex with your brother. <clears throat> Jimmy, you look ridiculous with your whole drawings. Yeah, I don't even fucking know right now. I don't like it. It makes me. It makes my heart sad. How do we delete the drawings? I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> Alright, I got rid of them. Oh! Hey. I like that skull on his desk. What are these kids doing? I'm telling you, I did hear someone. Adrian, you have really long hair. Like, how do you keep it, like, from not... Like, when my hair grows out long, it just gets so just, uh, unruly. How do you keep it tame? Oh, it's called taking a shower and combing. Well, I do that. I'm not. Oh yeah, you're right. He, the grandpa's been dead for like seven months. If you don't mind. I don't know. I've got all that German and Dutch in me. Shit just gets real. I'm trying to be nice to you, and you're hurting my heart. Mm. Yes. Really. Sorry. Sorry. You'd better, you'd better be sorry. I can't stand when people are mean to me. <laughs> I sound like fucking Madonna when she lived in Britain. That yeah. stupid cunt. She did live there for a little while, and she grew an accent. I know, and like... then she fucking thought she was British. And I'm like, no, Madonna, you're not fucking British. You're... As oh, American as yeah. <laughs> she looks like one of the humanoids of the deep. <laughs> oh my. Oh, this is beautiful. I haven't even seen oh, yeah. anything of it. Oh, she looks like Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now that's an oh, ending. Lord. That was the climax. That was that the is whole a movie. So this is a horror movie. <laughs> oh, God, the mouse died, too. Oh, it is all poison. It can't be right. No, it can't be. I think there was poison. That's why we're sick. You see that our grandmother tried to kill us? Yes. <laughs> oh, Grandmama. I live at two Knock her down. Rip Fuck off her you weave. Don't get to me this instant. <laughs> Rip off her weave. <laughs> we all know she has cancer. <laughs> You're never gonna leave this room. <laughs> You're gonna hit me. You're gonna rip me. Take off her wig. Hit her. Hit her. Kill her. Kill her, mommy. Kill her. Kill her, mommy. Beautiful, <laughs> prideful, and weak. Just like your mother. That's not true. You need to be born. Kill her. Just fucking snatch her eye out like Kill Bill. I'm the name of the Lord himself. Rip it out. Now, if you give me that key, I may show you a little mercy. Come on. Do it. The Raven was called Sin Evo's Week. Crazy grandma. Oh god, this crazy god, I, woman. Just leave her. Leave the little girl. I can't stand her. 
<laughs> I close the door. I need the door to be open. No, no, don't turn off the light. Open the door. Turn on the light. Oh, she's freaking out. I need the door to be open. What are you doing? No, no, open the door. <laughs> like you said, God sees everything. He'll punish you for what you did to us. <laughs> Does the Bible say anything about incest? It was the okay, I think you should have it. Your mother. Adam and Eve prove it. It would be a whole clusterfuck of incest. Because I was going to say, I mean, the only thing the brother and sister have really done is incest. The grandma's just been a cunt through the whole thing. Yeah. So, I think if anybody's going to be punished by God, it's definitely grandma. I mean, she, the grandmother did just drop the truth bomb that uh, Heather Graham's the one that poisoned them. Yeah, well, Heather Graham, she got them crazy eyes. Yeah, she does. She got them legs for days, those crazy eyes for years. Oh my god. Too much time in Boogie Nights. <laughs> no, no, no. Such loof balloons. Even their club would have done peak months. Nice scarf, Adrian. I'm just doing a kid of that. I'm just doing a kid of that. I'm just doing a kid of that. Along the get bum bum so bad. We should do a story out tonight. Of none and all such loof balloons. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh man, the little girl couldn't eat, couldn't eat it. No, 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 sis, Jews and Flieger, yeah, I'll start and no, start Krieger, eating the Swift Captain. Scarpa, I'm not just fire there. I'll meet you at the lake. No, no, we're not going without you. Well, then cut the electricity Sorry, now. Stop! Stop! You know what's good for you. <laughs> We're Corinne's children. Oh, my God. Oh. Before I'm sent after you, I'll cut the power on the fence. Oh! Oh, the crazy, uh, butler is like, Yo, kids, get out of here. Bye, kids. Have a good life. <laughs> How you doing? Forget to write. Thanks. Always forget to write. <laughs> God, I have drank six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jesus. eleven. Eleven beers. A lot. Yes. Since when? When did you start? And for the first time in a long time. Uh, like eight thirty. Jesus. Free. We had everything ahead of us. No, probably closer to nine. But we'd see mom again. And we'd look her straight in the eye. And tell her she has fucking flowers in the attic. And hopelessness become hers. Valley of the dolls. <laughs> uh oh. Who was that? Had the Graham? No, I think Grandma's still in the attic. She just starved to death. The end. So what did you think of flowers in the attic? It was pretty fun. It wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I'd imagine the original being much more campy than that. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Me too. Oh god, I just rolled over and it got so much worse. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks everyone for joining us and watching this on the YouTube. All five oh, of you. God. <laughs> oh god. Sorry. Oh. And uh, I'm going to sign off. Like now? I have work in the morning. Uh, yeah. I do too. I have work at 7.30. You should go to bed. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, folks. Next, same bat time, same bat channel. Next time, whatever that means. I don't know. Everyone, say goodbye. I'll be sober next time. Oh wow! 
Bye. Um, what's fucking another language for bye? Uh, I'm even the same. I'm the same. Yeah. Sehr gut, bravo. Bye, y'all. Bye. Okay. Bye.